Did Gartner get prescriptive analytics wrong? As a major analyst firm with a lot of experience in prescriptive analytics, we didn't expect Gartner to muddle up the very definition of the discipline. Let's clear things up. According to Gartner, there are two approaches to prescriptive analytics. The first approach leverages optimization, aka linear programming, for decision making. The second leverages heuristics, aka rules, for decision making. There are two major differences between the two approaches. Optimization runs through unlimited scenarios to achieve the best answer, while heuristics follow a much smaller set of predetermined rules. Optimization also considers business constraints and objectives. Heuristics does not. We're here to argue that what Gartner is calling a rules-based approach to prescriptive is nothing more than decision automation. Heuristics is not a true form of prescriptive analytics. But optimization and decision automation are connected. Optimization defines the rules and decision automation carries out the rules. Say you have almost identical credit card applicants. Optimization sifts through millions of possibilities and defines the rules that tell you what's truly important to consider. The output from optimization is then used to run decision automation. Organizations that use prescriptive analytics, aka optimization, see enormous benefits, ranging from increasing services levels and revenue to understanding risk better and reducing costs. Previously only applied to single functions, prescriptive analytics is now being used to support a much broader range of operational, tactical, and strategic decisions. Remember, it's not true prescriptive analytics if you're using heuristics, aka rules-based decision automation. Were you fooled by someone selling you prescriptive analytics that was nothing more than rules execution? Ditch or expand your old system. You need optimization.